Okay, today, folks, uh, my viewers, we're going to talk about return grills. We're going to talk about supply grills. And we're going to talk about linear diffusers. So let's talk about the linear diffusers first. This is a, a linear diffuser. You'll see a lot of these in uh, commercial buildings, uh, hotels, nice restaurants, custom homes. We at Jones Air Conditioning Electrical actually cut boxes and make these fit inside. Here's the back side of the grill if you just want to see it. But the point of it is we put these in and the air flows through these and they are absolutely beautiful in a custom home. You can paint these, you can faux finish them, you can do many things with this. The next thing we're going to talk about is a, a um, this is a 10 by 10 one way grill. And this actually, this type of grill goes on the ceiling. Here's one right here. And that's the reason they call it a one way grill because it goes on the ceiling and it blows the air out one way. But you ask the question, what if I need to blow the air two ways or three ways or four ways? Well, they have a grill for that. Here's a 10 by 6 three-way grill. So if you look at it, you see how the diffusers go side to side and one goes out. So it blows the air in three different directions. They make them as sort of sizes from 10 to 6, 12 by 8, 10 by 10, 12 by 12. And that's about as high as you normally want to get. You can go 14 by 14, but we rarely use those. Here is a four-way 10 by 10. Just what I was telling you. So you got one blowing this way, one blowing this way, out and up. But it would go to something like this. And these are really good to put in central rooms, like in living rooms, kitchens, great rooms, where you really want to spread the air out in several different directions to keep the uh, homeowners comfortable. Here is a sidewall grill. The slide, sidewall grill says what it is. It goes in the sidewall. You see the wide diffusers are more than a half inch wide. So as the air blasts out, you have a great throw, a distance, where this particular grill will blow out about 10 to 12 feet depending on the uh, velocity of the airflow coming out this thing could work great in uh, rooms where you have very little ceiling height or you have a knee wall or somewhere you just can't get the ductwork and you have to put it in a sidewall one thing I want to point out this is supply register and the difference between a supply register see how I'm moving this a supply register has adjustable grills it's adjustable vents in the back that you can open and close the airflow. You also can move the vents itself and you can direct the airflow down, more out, more to 45, whatever. At the same time, you can move the airflow, okay? The difference between a supply register and a return grill is a return grill has no louvers in the back. See the difference? This is a return and this is supply. Return air literally means the air is returning back through a filter into the air handler. Then it goes through the air handler out the supply. That's the circle. So this is a return, non-adjustable veins. This is supply with adjustable veins. This is what we call a pass-through grill. This pass-through grill, when you uh, do a new job, you have to put uh, returns in every room. So the easiest way to do this a lot of times because of the ceiling height or because of the location of the room, you put pass-throughs over top of the door. You, you just cut, cut a small hole, you screw one on this side, one on that side, and the air is allowed to pass through because you're supplying air in the room with a positive pressure. And actually what this does, it helps equalize the pressure in the room. Uh, that's pretty much it, folks. Any grill that you need, you can purchase for pretty much any application as long as your AC contractor understands velocity pressures, feet per minute, and static pressures are very important. If you need to call, just call Jones Air Conditioning Electric and visit our website, jonesairconditioning.com.